with Nona, the first and only exclusive character for Don't Starve Together. She's here to prove that anything can be fixed with hard work and a bit of elbow grease. Let's get to it. So, who is she? Well, on the surface, Winona is an in-game depiction of one Rosie the Riveter, a cultural icon who represented American women who found themselves working within factories during World War II. As awesome as that is, her origins go deeper. You see, many moons ago, there was a fire that had broken out at the Voxola factory in Sydney, Ohio. The factory destroyed as many workers, including Winona here, were forced out of their employment. Due to the incident, Winona shows no love towards any flickering heat with quotes like, haven't we lost enough to the fires? Or, must fire take everything I love? Our girl Winona here now strongly suggests that Maxwell is the one to blame and signs do point to the sneaky, shadowy figure. You see, Winona wasn't dragged into the constant against her will. She arrived herself, and it was for a rescue mission. Examinations of the gorge and forge gateways will yield responses such as, I might not be good at rescue missions, and looks like the one I came through. A rescue mission? Who the hell for? Well, she's here for none other than the monster of the darkness herself, Charlie, her younger sister. Oh boy, but some of you didn't know that one. Yup, Winona is here to save Charlie from the horrors brought upon her by her once lover, Maxwell. And speaking of Max... Winona does know of Maxwell, but only through word of mouth. Obviously, from her sister Charlie. But Winona appears to have never met him. When she examines a Maxwell statue, she will exclaim this is the first time actually seeing him. But she also calls him Maxi, so perhaps Charlie shared that nickname with her at some point. And with all this talk of sisterly love driving Winona to rescue Charlie, they are still family at the end of the day, so they tend to get on each other's nerves. And, what do you know, examining an annoying little bugger, the living Mandrake, will tell you exactly that. Forgot to comment on her stats. Winona sits at a respectful set of 150 health, 150 hunger, and 200 sanity. Definitely a well-rounded survivor in that regard. Examining a winter hat gives us a bit of potential insight to what happened to Winona after the Voxola factory fire, as she references tenement housing. Tenement housing are homes that significantly fail to meet even minimum standards of safety and comfort. But enough of depressing lore. What makes her special? Well, Winona here, being the worker that she is, can actually craft twice as fast as any other character in Don't Starve, allowing for base building to be less of a hassle and less of a time waster. So you can go from nothing to a little something something to a base, however you want it, to as big as you want it. Winona can help you out. So get to building, everyone. It's not just crafting speed, either. Winona actually places created structures and such quicker than anyone else. You might be saying, oh, big whoop, who cares? But getting a fire down quick before your sister comes to rip your head off while you're also fighting potential other hostile mobs will be way easier with Winona here. And that extends the combat as well. Say you get into trouble with the locals, and you got nothing to swing at them. Well, bait out the attack, and craft your weapon of choice in a flash. Then, you're free to just slaughter them dead so. Just be careful not to get hit in the mouth by a meteor, because I really don't recommend it. 
As far as normal combat goes, Winona has no advantages or disadvantages over anyone else really. She is pretty straightforward in that aspect. That can't be it, right? There has to be more to her, right? I'm glad you asked. Because, yes, there is. Winona spawns in with an item already in her inventory. Trusty Tape. A character-specific item. Trusty Tape are a one-time use pseudo-sewing kit that can repair up to five days of degradation on your clothing items incredibly useful plus they are incredibly simple to craft using but one silk and three grass as compared to eight silk one log and two hound teeth for a normal sewing kit a winona paired with the weber can easily keep everyone's clothing up to snuff on the cheap yes sewing kits have more uses but you cannot beat the price of admission on these trusty tapes. Being sisters and all, Winona can actually dodge Charlie's attacks, but only once. You can abuse this, however, and limit your torch draining, or you can just go insane quicker for nightmare fuel farming. Armed with indomitable spirit and some damn trusty tape, Winona was plucked straight off the factory line and plunged into the world of Don't Starve. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.